Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Maggie and this is Maggie Budgets and Plans, a channel dedicated to my journey to pay down debt using the zero-based budgets and cash envelope systems. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do a budget with me for my January 5th paycheck from my full-time job. If that's interesting to you guys, go ahead and grab something to drink and settle in. Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed and commented on these videos. I do not say that nearly enough. I tend to get into the filming and just bust ahead and forget to say thank you, but I really do want to tell you guys how much I appreciate all of your support. I'm just so, okay, here's Miss Nova jumping in on my thank yous. Do you want to say thank you too, Miss My Baby Girl? Thank you to all these people who are watching you. Stick your head into the videos. Yes. All right. Nope. No playing with the dice today, Miss. Alrighty, so thank you from Nova and I for your guys' watching this videos. So I am all ready to jump into the budget with me for today. So as a reminder, in the last video, we went ahead and set up the monthly calendar overview in my budget planner for January 2024. Hi, baby girl. And then after that video, I went ahead and went through, babes, uh-uh, miss telling you guys no guy no dice are safe when miss nova is around she just loves the things that go clicky clacky as they move across the table so i'll have to put those in my pocket for the time being anyways yes so i went ahead and after the last video where we went through and set up the calendar the overview i went through and took all of these things that are labeled with this kind of very light off-white peachy color and i added those to this worksheet here because those are all of the expenses that i donated or not donated um designated as coming out of my january 5th paycheck from the salon so i get paid tomorrow and i know how much that paycheck is going to be now I know that I'm getting paid um, $1,200.18. So I do not budget with the cents. I just budget with the whole dollar amounts. So I went through and added the expenses that are gonna come out of this paycheck, which are my care credit payment for $45, my Canva subscription for $16. Oh, binder getting knocked over. My debt snowball payment of $76, my iCloud for 11, my medical bill payment of $25, my upgrade payment, and that is a debt consolidation loan that I took for $227, and then my utilities payment of $50, and my car insurance, which is $141. So let's go ahead and add all of those guys up so we can figure out how much the budgeted bills are for this paycheck. 45 plus 16 plus 76 plus 11 plus 25 plus 207 mm, that did not look right so 45 plus 16 plus 76 plus 11 plus 25 plus 227 plus 50 plus 141 equals 596 $591. I think I'm going to add another thing into this paycheck. I have been wanting to split up my rent payments between paychecks so that way it's not all coming out of one paycheck um, as it does currently at the beginning of the month. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add an extra little category in here. And then it's just going to be um, partial rent is what I will call it, a partial rent payment. And this will just stay in the bank. I'll put it in a separate savings account from everything else. Let's go ahead, so I'm at 591. If I add 250, I'm at 841. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna add $250 in a partial rent payment. Okay, so, That'll bring, so my total income is 1,200. My total expenses are 841. So my leftover is going to be $359. Yeah, and I've been wanting to do this partial rent um, to just make it a little easier on me and to make sure I have a little bit more money available at the beginning of the month when things are very, very tight because that big rent pay payment comes out of one paycheck. Okay, 
So $359 is what I'm gonna have to budget in this worksheet now. So this worksheet, this is the first time you guys are seeing it in detail that I put together, um, has a couple things up top. We've got this area where it says leftover, so that's the total amount I've got available. The cash stuff, so that's what I'm pulling out in cash. And then this area for digital envelopes, so for any amounts that I wanna leave in um, the bank as a digital envelope. I keep my um, book fund and then my game fund as digital envelopes because I mostly spend those monies digitally. Hi, baby girl, go lay down. Thank you. So let's go ahead and get started with the categories that go in my wallet. So we've got food, gas, Nova, and spending are the categories in my wallet now. Food, all right, let's do gas first because gas is easy. Gas is gonna get $40 because it always gets $40 out of each of the big paychecks, which is gonna be two 20s. Nova um, is pretty good on food. Let's just do $10 in Nova just in case. That's gonna be one. Spending is gonna get $20. And then food, I think we're gonna do $100 in food. And this $100 I try and make last two weeks. I try to only pay into my food categories out of my big paychecks, but that hasn't been happening lately because I've been eating out so much. But now that we're through the holiday busy season, I'm hoping that I can get back on track with eating at home more. So we started with $359. I'm going to subtract $100, $40, $10, $20. That leaves us with $189. The next categories I want to pay into are my high priority sinking funds which are in this blue binder and they are car I'm still getting used to these new categories so I need to look at this car dental emergency yeah emergency house medical, um, optical, vet, and work. Perfect, so those are the high priority categories. Let's go ahead um, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So if I do $10 in each, that would take me down to 109. I like the idea of that. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do $10 into each of these categories out of this paycheck. Okay, so one $10 bill for each of these. All right, next we've got my medium priority categories, which I moved into this binder. I switched this binder with this um, flower one down there, just so that the color, solid color ones have all of the sinking funds in them. All right, so now in this next, oh, let's subtract the $80 there. So that leaves me with 109 and then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six categories in my medium priority binder. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I did not make this worksheet big enough, but that's fine. That is okay. I will write some stuff on a post-it and get it added into here. So let's go ahead and add into the medium priority categories. So we are gonna do friends, household, um, new cat, uh, travel, uh, 
Um, then we've got weed and waxing. Okay, so if I do 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, yeah, let's do that. Let's do $5 into each of these categories. So that is 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So minus 30, that leaves us with $79 available. So next thing I want to do actually is we're gonna jump down here to the savings challenge binder and we're gonna do the roll the dice challenge to figure out how much I need to pay into that challenge in this paycheck. So I went ahead and decided to go ahead and kind of change up the way I'm doing the roll the dice for this new year. In the past, I was rolling a D6 and well, I was sorry, I was rolling a D4, so a four-sided dice. Let me get my dice out of my pocket again. So I was rolling a D4, a four-sided dice, that would then tell me how many times I rolled the D6, the six-sided dice. However, looking over this $150 roll the dice challenge, there's only two spots that are higher than four. There's one six and one five. So I'm gonna reverse the order this year. I'm gonna roll the D6 to tell me how many times to roll the D4 since most of these dice icons are ones, twos, threes, and fours. So for the D6, I get, I believe that's a six. It is a six. It's just this cute little dice has a little potion bottle instead of a six. So that is a six. These dice just in general are super cute. They've got the liquid core little snow globe moment. All right, so that's six times. I get to roll this die the D4, which also is from that same set. So it has that little snow globe in the center. All right, I get to roll this guy six times. So that's a four. Let me get my little post-it out so I can keep track of this. So we've got four. That was a two. A three. A one. One, two, three, four. Five, that's a two. And for the last one, that is a one. So we had 79 here. I'm just gonna write this down here so you can keep track of it. And we're gonna do four plus two plus three plus one plus two plus one equals 13. So I'm putting $13 into roll the dice. So I'm gonna take 79 minus 13, leaves me with 66 available. So roll the dice, I'm gonna take this little post-it and put it just right on top of this tracker so that when I come through to do the cash stuffing tomorrow, I can mark off the correct values on the little tracker. So that one binder we are done with. So it was 13 into roll the dice, and then I'm gonna go, oh, nope, Miss Nova. I'm telling you guys, no dice are safe with Nova on the prowl. Okay, so I'm gonna put right here, we're just gonna put savings. So that people understand it's going into savings challenges. Savings challenges. So we had $13, we're gonna add this $6 because I don't like, um, putting singles into, well, let's split that up. Let's do $14 into savings challenges. Let's do um, one ten and four ones. So we're gonna minus a dollar there. So that leaves me with $65, because I will put $5 into a category. Um, I'm going to write these other categories on here because it's what I've got available. We're gonna go ahead and do this this way. I need to get ready to pay for TurboTax for um, filing my taxes for 2023. So I'm gonna put $50 into TurboTax. I don't have that envelope made yet, but you'll see it probably, hopefully in the next video. We'll see how it goes. TurboTax, and then I'm gonna put $5 each into a low priority category. Um, just to pay into those a little bit. 
And the way I'm gonna decide which low priority categories, because I don't really wanna struggle and figure that out right now, is just rolling the D20. So here is our low priority binder. So I am going to just, that is a three. So envelope number three, one, two, three. So books gets $5. Let's move that to the side real quick so I can put that there. I don't have a lot of working room available. Okay, so next, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Gifts gets $5. Final category is also a five. So one, two, three, four, five. Bath and Body Works gets $5. Okay, so now we figured out where all of the money is going to. Now I just need to figure out the denomination. So TurboTax is just gonna be a 50 because I'm just holding that separate until I pay for it and then I'll just deposit it back in the bank. Books is gonna be digital. It's gonna be a digital envelope. Gifts is gonna be one five. Body, Bath and Body Works is gonna be one five. So what we're gonna do is, so we have one $50 bill that I need and then five, six, seven, eight, twenties. Tens are gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Fives are gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four ones. So that's four dollars in ones. Eight times, where, why is my brain? There we go. Eight times five is $40. 10 times 10 should be 100. Eight times 20 is 160. And then one $50 bill. So let's add this up and make sure this works. 50 plus 160 plus 100 plus 40, plus four equals 354 to get stuffed into cash. And then $5 to get stuffed digitally. So if we add that $5 in, that's 359, which takes us to, it matches our leftover funds that we had set aside for cash stuffing. So there we go all of that and now all I need to do is put together a little teller slip um, because I forgot to print one out and laminate it while I was having my laminator party on New Year's Day so I've got to get that done in the next couple days as well so I need uh, four one dollar bills how many but it's also a good reminder that you don't always need to have something like a teller slip. You can always just use a post-it or I've used receipts before. My last cash stuffing um, for my paycheck, I forgot to bring the post-it with me um, to the bank. So I actually had to pull over in the drive through line and pull up my last YouTube video so that I could see what were the amounts that I'd budgeted for and then do them, write them just on the back of a receipt is actually what I ended up doing and it worked just fine. So there we go. Those are the total amounts that I need to pull out of the bank. Now, what I am probably gonna do before I actually go to the bank tomorrow is go through 
my um, high and medium priority and look at them and look at what I can condense down. And probably instead of some of these 20s, I'll get out some 50s. So that way I can kind of condense some of that cash down. So don't be surprised if in the cash stuffing video, you see some like different denominations in those envelopes. Um, but yes, that is it for today. We went ahead and budgeted for my January 5th paycheck. I've got everything figured out for when I go to the bank tomorrow after I get paid. And then yeah, the next video is gonna be that cash stuffing. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.